Hello, everyone. My name is Natalie Keating. I'm Ian Steele. I'm Chloe Durkey. I'm Luke McGinnis. And we are all seniors from Skyline High School. Our invention is called the feeder heater, which is basically like the ideal winter bird feeder. During these cold months, we've all noticed that birds rely heavily on these feeders as a food source. And I was talking to my dad a while ago, and he said that he was having problems with the seed freezing, which one, like made it hard for him to clean out. And two, it made it hard for the birds to get to the food. So not to mention the squirrels also um, find their way into the food, which takes away from um, the birds getting it. So my group was thinking, what if there was a way to get around these issues by creating our own bird feeder that is not only convenient for the owner to clean it out, but also for the birds to get the seed? Uh, we are all former environmental science students and we love watching the birds uh, fly by our backyards. Um, we wanted to make our bird feeders more appealing during the winter months. Um, the major obstacle with this is that the food freezes and the bird's feet get cold. So we thought to put a heater below the food and right next to where the birds will land. It keeps the feet toasty and the food roasty. The design choice of power from an extension cord uh, from the house provides power that's not dependent on the weather or interference from you know, bird feces or other unreliable factors. Uh, this is our cat and I'm gonna be going over the main features. Uh, starting at the bottom, we have uh, these uh, prongs for mounting into the ground. And this is one inch aluminum rod and this is one and a half inch aluminum rod. Working our way up uh, is the cone, which is going to be a 16th inch aluminum sheet metal, which is going to be bended in a way that forms a cone and stops squirrels from climbing up. Next is the actual birdhouse, which has this heating mat inside of it, which you can buy on Amazon for a fairly good price. And the actual word house is made mostly of wood, one that's probably durable for winter, like uh, redwood or cedar. And you can also see this hole in the bottom for the cord of the heat heater. And um, the wood is made in a way that it is adjustable for whatever size wood you have. And the top here is removable to be able to clean the bird house and refill it with seeds. We found similar products such as heated bird baths, but we couldn't find bird feeders that would keep our seeds from freezing. We then looked at ways to minimize energy use when heating the bird feeder. Because the seeds on the feeder won't be frozen, it will be easier for the birds to eat there, making it a more favorable spot to get a bite to eat on a cold day and increasing the number and diversity of birds in the nearby area of the feeder. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a good one.